Hi YouTube, I'm going to be showing you all how you can foil stamp using your Mink Machine. Now Jennifer McGuire uploaded a wonderful tutorial showing us all how we can use our stamps with foiling but using embossing powder. And so when she put that video out, I thought, hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it because I was also experimenting. But at that time, I was using my laminator. And since I now know the Mink Machine gives a better foiling result than my laminator, I thought, let me try my hand at using my different glues again to see if I can achieve um, a rubber stamp foiling and you know what it absolutely works so I won't be experimenting with all these different glues I will show you some examples but I will be definitely using this glue First, pad let here let me show you some images that I have stamped and foiled this is a grape and with that view you can see the foiling and then let me show you how the actual, well, this stamp happens to be a clear stamp. So you can use your clear stamps as well as your red rubber stamps. And this is how the image looks unfoiled. So it really kept all the detail and I got perfect foiling. Let me show you another one. these prayer hands and you can see the foiling there and this is the actual image now I did press down deep into the pad and that's why you see all that there you also see it there see that it did foil and it kept the detail when I first looked at this foiled image I thought oh well it didn't foil enough there but if you look at the original stamp you can see it does lighten up in that area let me show you another one. This phrase that says angels are watching over us. This came out looking really nice. And this is the original unfoiled stamp there. And then one more would be this leaf set and by the way you see the red rubber images here now with the leaf set I use different types of glues so I'm going to show that to you before I show you those images all the images that I have shown you thus far was used with the essentials glue pad and I love it I've had my glue pad for years but you know what I really didn't use it because it did not give me the desired result with glitter but it absolutely works with stamping okay, so and foiling. here are my examples with various wet glues now the images I'm going to show you I could have gotten even better results but these were my first attempts so I'm showing you my first attempts and this one was with Mod Podge now Mod Podge and it wasn't this Mod Podge I was too lazy I didn't want to go on my garage and get my larger container but um, Mod Podge is a thicker glue. If you're using any type of wet glue, you want to be careful that you don't have any glue within these open parts. And that's what you see here, Mod Podge, and it did foil. And this one here was with a book binding glue, and I have a whole gallon of that. I did not want to bring that out from the garage but you see finer details this one looks more like the actual stamped image but it foil so that was book binders glue and that's like a a thinner white craft glue it's used in book binding now this was with the stamp pad and I believe it was with the one I just showed you I have three different glue pads but it foil and then this image here is with diamond glaze so I also used Mod Podge I mean glossy accents but I can't find that but that works as well 
Okay, so I have different types of glue pads and I have not used these in a long, I mean, I don't know how many years. This one just was not good at all. And so what I did was I took the pad and I, I forget which inks or which glues I poured in it, but I poured glue in it because I wanted to see if the glue would penetrate or soak down into the pad. And this type of pad would not, it wouldn't do that. And so I think I might just throw this out. But um, if you decide to make your own ink pad, like this one here, this was another pad that did not work well. But anyway, this pad is like an open foam pad. And so I poured glossy accents in it or diamond glaze, or maybe I did both. But that's an option that you can experiment with. Take an old ink pad and recycle it and make a glue ink pad. Now I have the reinker for this one. And this this is my best bet. And I say that because you don't have to worry about um, the different types of inks. This is our different types of glues. This is readily available. You can get it with the reinker. Now I'm not sure how often one will need to re-ink this. So that remains to be so seen. So I'm going to be using a die cut of a grape. I'm going to stamp on this die cut and I would recommend that you use a stamping mat or if you don't have a stamping mat you could use a paper pad or a mouse pad to stamp your um, to stamp your image because you want to make sure you get enough ink onto your paper okay so I've stamped my image and I have my machine on heat level four and when this comes out I'm going to share a couple tips with you guys so that's done and let's look at the reveal and it foiled and foiled nice okay so the tip I want to show you guys when first of all I'm using scrapbooking paper as my base and then when you put your um, image in you want to make sure you put it in the right direction I have found if I would have put it in this way it gave really it gave partial foiling or it gave foiling and I did I ran this through twice I think but I did not get coverage complete coverage but when I put it in that way it foiled better so just keep that in mind and also I experimented with different types of sandwiches even put it in with no carrier sheet at all and what works best for me is to get a piece of parchment paper and put it on top like that and so but this works and so other sandwiches may work just got to play around with it so back to the image it foiled nicely and it covered all the area and that was one pass and you didn't have to use embossing powder. And once again, I used the Essentials glue pad. And this is how the reinker looks. And I think Joann's carry this. I know Amazon have it, and they have it for about $7.50 right now for the combo set. Okay, so I had to add the second layer to the stamp. And I just stamped over it with a different color ink and you probably can't see the foiling as much but foiling serves as a resist and it may not pick it up with these colors but it's definitely foiled and this is you have it you guys you can use your stamps to foil with them using a variety of different wet glues or my favorite the essentials glue pad well, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.